Hello everyone. I uh, I hope everyone is having a uh, a great final last week in this course. Um, yeah, overall this has been uh, an engaging course um, with with a lot of interesting subject matter to take in. Um, I obviously recognize collecting, storing, and, and analyzing data is a huge and exponentially growing industry. Um, however, I, I personally have never engaged in too much data collection where I then intended to uh, visually present my data and my results in a meaningful way. Uh, it was kind of a new challenge. Um, this course got me thinking about how data collection can be strategic uh, for practically any size company, organization, uh, or entity, um, I've always been under the impression that unless you're capturing data on a large scale with with millions of people, you know, normally associated with political campaigns, um, then it isn't valuable or or worth your time uh, to collect data on these matters. Um, you know, you're just constrained whether you have with finances, with time, with labor. Um, but this course showed me that there's still an incredible amount of value you can gain uh, from smaller scale surveys uh, for data an analysis where you know, you're looking at a sample from anywhere of just 50 to a couple hundred people. Um, and not only can you still learn and become aware of different conclusions or new trends than you originally thought, um, you know, which in itself can be very illuminating, uh, but but if done correctly, you can then generalize your sample to a larger, uh, you know, larger population size, keeping in mind different demographic variables will will uh, change and influence things to a degree. Um, once again, uh, you know, this just illuminates the fact that a smaller scale modest survey can still provide critical answers uh, that can be used to address a wider audience. Um, and, you know, I, I never really kind of made this, you know, thought about it like this, but even just, you know, having a test group um, to, to help determine how to market and move forward with a new product as you're entering it into a larger marketplace. Um, you know, this, this was just a... a, a a great course that allowed me to see how how um how efficient that can be. Um, one thing I learned <laughs> was how to correctly structure uh, a survey or a poll to achieve usable, valuable, and legitimate and fair results, i.e., data. Um, my instincts for writing questions uh, were not the most efficient for the sake of capturing precise data. Uh, initially, I always wanted to write double-barreled questions, um, and I tried to, you know, make it long and include all these different points. Um, and it, it, you know, it was that was a great module to recognize that, uh, you know, that's a terrible habit I should do away with. Um, you know, the idea of creating a simple, unbiased, straightforward question. Was great to understand, you know. Better to ask many simple questions to alienate every possible response, instead of trying to use long, complex questions where data becomes skewed and does not, you know, do an accurate job of, of capturing how uh, a participant feels about specific aspects of whatever you are researching. Um, I know sometimes when I've I've taken random surveys, I, I would always crack up at how some of the questions seem so simple and I thought why didn't they have those five questions be one question um, and you know really being able to alienate all the responses so that way you can analyze it and present it visually um, in, in, a, in a precise manage, manner uh, was, was great to comprehend. Uh, I can use the knowledge from this course uh, for multiple endeavors uh, moving forward with my life um, right now, I, I, I'm working for a small, modest company, which is growing rapidly, um, but still, you know, I, I kind of have a fair amount of say to some degree in, in the company, just knowing it's, it's, a, it's a small, you know, it's a small company, not, 
not like it has hundreds and hundreds of employees or a big corporation. Um, so, you know, knowing both the CEOs, uh, I, I feel like the idea of, of, you know, bringing forth the idea of creating a survey to determine efficiencies and inefficiencies internally amongst all the employees could be uh, very impactful, you know, for saving the company money and time. Um, and then being able to present the conclusions with, with straightforward, appropriate visuals um, that illuminate the results uh, could bring could bring a lot of value to the company. Um, I I have run a successful LLC before, and I plan to create another one later down the road. Uh, and my you know my degree at CSU Global will help me uh, eventually reach reach that point. Um, where I'll be ready to open up another LLC. So so long term. Uh, I can think of numerous scenarios uh, where I could create a survey for uh, the clients I would anticipate working with um, and the multiple retailers that I aspire to work with. Um, and then not only did this course illuminate how in the future I can take the survey or poll knowledge to, to any serious endeavor I am invested in, uh, but the reality that how the information is presented visually will have a serious influence on how the entire team uh, internalizes the information. Um, the overall idea of presenting data with proper visuals to illustrate your results in an impactful manner um, is an extremely valuable skill uh, that this course helped me to re <laughs> help, help me to realize. Um, you know, we, we can apply these data visualizations to an infinite amount of fields in varying degrees. Um, and, and so this, this course has sparked an interest uh, in the potential data collection and analyzation that I could do. Um, and the idea of creating, distributing your own surveys um, when, we, when we did that for our, you know, portfolio project, uh, that just illustrated how how versatile our research can be, uh, you know, with, with technology, the, the ability to get a survey into so many different demographics and, and, and reach out to so many different people of different demographics, um, you know, it, it really illuminated uh, just how limitless the, the opportunities are for, for research, for data collection, um, and then uh, you know, to present that data in a, in a visually uh, logical way. Um, this course definitely also illuminated how <laughs> poor visuals um, can really skew your data, you know, so if, if, if not done correctly or if you choose uh, a stacked bar graph in, in an odd situation, um, you know, you can also really hinder your results by by presenting them in a, in an inefficient way, and and um, you know, then then the people you're showing the information to might might have a skewed impression of it, or or take something that that you weren't trying to present. So um, you know, both show the potential and also how uh, how. Um, if, if you present your, your uh, visuals from your data poorly, uh, you know, you might be worse off and, and, and influence someone in, in a way that you didn't intend. Um, I, I definitely learned a lot more than I expected in this course. Um, and, and I enjoyed hearing what everyone's survey was about. Uh, I thought everyone chose some, some very interesting topics. Uh, you know, I was torn on, on what topic to choose, um, so it was kind of fun to see uh, other people choose topics that I was kind of mulling over my head. Um, so yeah, that was that was great to see. Uh, I, I hope everyone is is uh, doing doing great, wrapping up their for portfolio project. Um, and uh, yeah, I've I've enjoyed all the discussions, talking with everyone, and and all the input from. Uh, from everyone here so uh uh you know thank thanks a lot for for a great course and um 
hope for the best with everyone as they uh, continue their education and, and get their degree at CSU Global. And, um, and I hope everyone has a good evening. Thank you. Bye.